Hello guys, I'm Harsh and today I'm going to be, you know, making a video about how to add an extra M.2 SSD to your laptop. Now, before you start doing that, uh, there are a few things that you need to be sure of. First of all, uh, does your laptop support an M.2 SSD? Does it have a slot? Does it, if it already has a slot, is it populated or not? So for example, I have my Gigabyte Aero 15 laptop. It has two slots, one is populated the crucial MX300 525GB uh, M.2 SATA 3 and uh, yeah I'm gonna be the other slot I'm gonna be populating it with this Western Digital uh, one terabyte M.2 uh, now M.2 SSDs are in two you know categories there are NVMe and there are SATA SSDs NVMe being the faster ones so if you're purchasing an NVMe SSD just make sure you have enough PCIe lanes for the uh, you know NVMe and uh, well whether your laptop supports an NVMe or not because you know the NVMe ones are really expensive the Western Digital that I got is two fifty dollars for one terabyte and uh, the NVMe one the Samsungs and the you know other brands are somewhere around four fifty for the same storage so almost twice the price so what we are going to do is you know my process is not only for gigabyte laptops it's almost the same with every other laptop that you have it's very simple so yeah first thing first what we need to do is we need to unscrew the screws and take out the lid now i've already unscrewed my you know base of the laptop there are 13 screws in the gigabyte aero, aero 15 laptop now i'm using what you need is this a screwdriver with a tr6 head okay i'm using one from ifixit uh it's really nice really helpful i've done a lot of that but uh, you can use any generic brand just tr6 that's i mean that's the screw that almost uh or you can say most of the laptops use you know the back screws now once you've unscrewed those i'm not going to bore you in the video with that just unscrew these 13 screws and after that i've used these small plastic pry tools to pop open the lid you know because there are a lot of tabs here in the gigabyte laptop so might be different with your laptop might be easy might be even more difficult so yeah just like these plastic pry tools you can use or you can just use any old credit card or some you know membership card of some shop or something like that so it's no use to you so once it's done you know you pop it open uh one thing that you need to take care is uh try and use a screwdriver with a magnetic head because these screws are really small so you know the magnetic head really helps second thing uh just take care with to you know remember which screws goes in which hole because as with the gigabyte laptop so a couple of screws were of a different length than the others so take care of that and uh, just while opening up this lid what you need to do is just take care there are no ribbon connections in there uh you don't want to break those you snap those ribbon connections and so it can get really nasty so with the gigabyte laptop i know for a fact that it does not have a ribbon connection so yeah just open it up here and now that we have opened up our laptop as you can see this is the crucial m ssd that was already installed that i was talking about the ram battery processor and the gpu is here now with the gigabyte laptop you can also add an extra ram into it i don't have a ram right now i just want to you know add the ssd so how we're going to do it is really simple you just you know gonna take put the printed part up on the top slide it in at an angle like around 30 to 45 degree okay. what you're gonna do we're gonna push this thumb down a little bit and screw this thing up while screwing the screws in the laptop just take care don't screw too much you know like I said don't want the threads to wear out and that's it yep we're gonna put it back this you see this thing is the thermal pad i don't have thermal pad so i'm not putting that anyways let's start now once we put back the lid we're gonna put in our screw with a tr6 head and then Gonna boot the laptop.
All right, we're done. Now let's put it up. Now, uh, one thing I forgot to tell you uh, or forgot to show is that when you open the laptop, just disconnect the battery, you know, before you start tampering with the laptop's electronics or internal electronics because, you know, you don't want anything to short circuit. So just, you know, uh, disconnect the battery, press the power button for two or three seconds. So that will drain any remnant charges in the battery. And uh, yeah, let's see. So laptop is now booted up. Now, uh, there are two ways you can go about it. You might, you know, want to install an NVMe, especially with a gigabyte laptop and use it as your main drive for Windows because those are really fast. So in that case, you have to clone the existing SSD and, you know, port it to your uh, new SSD. Uh, there are softwares to do that. For example, Samsung has its own software. I think Western Digital has its own software as well. I am not going to do that. What I'm going to do is, you know, like I said, I'm just installing a new SSD for, you know, extra storage on my laptop. I'm not going to convert it into a, you know, bootable disk. So in that case, what you need to do is just, you know, go into disk management, initialize the disk and it should be there on your desktop. So as you can see, I've installed it. I've already copied some of the data into the SSD. So you can see, uh, almost already started running out of the space. So yeah, what can you say? Anyways, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, yeah, I'll try and see if I can make another video shortly. And yeah, do watch that as well. Bye. Take care.